Okay, well here's my little 10 by 18 inch Chinese lathe. Um, this particular unit I've had um, over 10 years and it's done a lot of work. Um, it basically does most jobs in the workshop apart from uh, work I use on the pillar drill. Um, and it's done a lot of grinding. I have a uh, tool post grinder. I use that regularly on this. I do all my milling on this. So this lathe does basically everything I ask of it um, in a small workshop. Um, and over the years, uh, as I said, it stood up very, very well. Um, you can see how much work it's done. All the <laughs> all the anodising has got worn off of the uh, the lead street covers. There's crap up the back from uh, all the grinding I've done on it. And uh, yeah, uh, if you look at it, the waves are in excellent condition. Why are the waves in excellent condition? Well, because every time I use it, if there's any rubbish on here. The first thing I do uh, is wipe it down with your basic old toilet paper. Why use toilet paper? Because it picks up, paper uh, towel picks up the rubbish really well and you can throw it in the rubbish bin after and you haven't got dirty, gritty rags laying around that you can reuse accidentally. And then um, I oil it and I oil it regularly and I oil it heavily and all I use is basic old car motor oil, engine oil, um, doesn't matter whether it's synthetic or whether it's um, ordinary, um, makes no difference. Um, and I do it for um, two reasons. Uh, motor oil is actually very protective, if it can protect a, a car engine and um, all sorts of load and temperature extremes then it, it's, got, it's got to have something going for it. And also, uh, the main advantage on a small piece of equipment like this is that it is relatively uh, runny. It has a, a low viscosity so that it will actually, uh, when you put it on, it will actually flush out a lot of the rubbish which basically can get under the, uh, the carriage. Um, and so it basically acts as a, a moving agent. Um, in comparison, if you buy whey oil, um, that is a tacky oil, um, it uh, is designed to cling, um, same as some people use chainsaw oil, that's designed to cling as well, and that's okay, it'll cling but then it'll also hold all the rubbish and crap that, uh, that you've got off uh, coming off of your lathe and uh, all of those things mixed with the oil become a wearing agent. So. In my opinion, you're much better off to use a light oil that will flush all that rubbish away, replace it regularly, and uh, the, uh, the life of the unit will be extended um, further, I think, than using uh, a heavy or even a light tacky oil. Okay, if you look at this lady, you'll notice there's no way wipers on this whatsoever. And... Uh, after 10 years use I had to take off the carriage because the half nut, the cam on this lever for the half nuts uh, wasn't working correctly. Uh, pulled it all apart, lack of lubrication, no big deal, fixed up that problem. But while I had it off I was curious to see how the underside of the carriage looked after 10 years use, well more than 10 years use, uh, using plain old car engine oil uh, as the lube for the ways and uh, took off the carriage and um, you'll see there's a link um, in the video to uh, views of the underside of the carriage and another video I did earlier and when I took the carriage off the underside of it was absolutely perfectly clean there was no rubbish no accumulated um, crud it was as clean as the day it came out the factory it was perfectly uh, clean so yeah Using a light oil to flush out the uh, the rubbish is the way to go, in my opinion. When you put your oil on, I mean, basically, um, you just get your old oil can and 
give her a good dose. All I ever do is I just get the old can, just run her down like this. Zap it along the back. Wind the carriage along. And then do the same up this side. And you'll see it, it'll have, move it all along. Just do that uh, after you wipe it down. And I mean, on your on the cross slide, there are on this one there are actually oil points for galleries that run the full length of the uh, cross slide. You just stick your oil can on it, give them a pump. And you can also, if you haven't got that arrangement or if you don't feel like doing it that way, give it a good burst. Do the do the screw and then just wind it back and that will just wipe it all the full the full length of the uh, of the cross slide so as I said that's all I ever use car engine oil um, and uh, as you can see those ways after 10 years use as good as new um, very light marking on the back on the on the rear but that's all you get that um, regardless. As far as the tailstock goes, the tailstock runs on here and here. I never oil that because you'll get a certain amount of capillaration and migration. You don't want to you don't want to put a lot of oil where your tailstock is sl sliding because uh, it's basically going to interfere with the grip. In this case, it's a cam lock. So I never oil that. I wipe it down, but a certain amount of oil will move across over time. And uh, if you oil that, well, you'll find that then your tail stock might creep under under load. So, and it's not necessary. The oil will get there anyway. So that's that. Now then, there is one other trick that I do um, have with this setup, and that is basically, in addition to this, uh, using the oil. As I said, there's no wipers on this lathe whatsoever. Nothing. Um, so as most of the rubbish is falling down in this region here. I mean, all lathes that you look at, all, all old lathes will be worn in this section basically because this is where all the action is taking place. So you want to try and stop most of the rubbish from falling down onto the ways in the first place. So one easy way to do it is, on here there are two positions, two screw holes for the travelling steady to go. So I just use a little copper plate. Um, that just mounts in there with, uh, with the two screws and that's just wide enough to cover the uh, the ways and uh, being copper I can wipe a magnet over it and pick the stuff up uh, with it without magnetising anything and that basically uh, will clear most jobs that you've, that you've got in the chuck and as I said all the rubbish pretty much will fall just in that area I mean basically um, as you're working up close to the chuck that will basically the plate will cover most of the work area that, that, you, that you're using so that helps a lot that will save your bed, save your ways and uh, uh, if you have to take it off to use the travelling steady well so be it but um, there you have it so there you go folks um, People that use whey oil will probably flame me, but I don't care. You can uh, use what you like. Um, this has proven to be effective. And um, as I said, there are a number of uh, schools of thought on how you should best lubricate a, a lathe. But for a small, light lathe like this, I think this is the best system. Um, and... Uh, as the oil moves off of the uh, the ways, so it takes all the crap with it, and uh, yeah, after 10 years use, when I pulled the carriage off, uh, it was as clean as a whistle. And uh, if you look at that, at the other video that I've done, um, you'll see exactly what I mean. There you go, folks. There are my thoughts on the matter. Um, yeah, you please yourselves, but that's how I do it. See you next time.